I heard a guy talking last night about the aliens. Said that these may be the guys who left behind all those weird ruins and turned up the Beltway colonies. He said maybe they come back to get them. Nah, those ruins aren't actually ruins at all. Just random formations in the rock caused by the alternating exposure of solar flares and fluctuating intergalactic radiation. Hey, listen to College Boy. Have you even seen the photos we got back from the Rebel Libraries? Explain to me how fluctuating radiation carved pictures of people into the walls. These pictures don't even look like people. They're too... too tall and thin. Ugh. They say they're aliens. They're family photos of those guys parked out front and they want it back. Are you trying to sound spooky, Kern? Seriously, it's like talking to a six-year-old. Ever since the new peace accord, I've been looking for work in the rim territories. Really? You don't want to stick around here? This place is turning into a real hot spot. I know, I know. I should be happy that the war is over. But this place is just too... It's too clean. Too warm. What is he smashing? Oh, the exciting life of the freelance septic engineer. We're finished loading all the class one and two containers, but you guys are still going to have your work cut out for you. Shouldn't be too hard. We got all these decommissioned parts laying around. Oh, you'd think so. But they can be tricky integrating into the new system. I ended up having to dump a whole caseload of empty XJ9 shells from a spare Q locker. Um, I don't have to tell your staff to update your security program. Yeah, I got stopped yesterday. Twice. I don't know how comfortable I am with that big alien thing just sitting up there. Yeah, it is kind of eerie, isn't it? What are they waiting for? They've been here for days now, but all they do is send out those weird little probe things. It's like, come out and say hello, please. Tension is killing me. I just hope we're ready for whatever it is they plan on doing. How do you prepare for something like this? I don't know how I'm supposed to get all this done in just three hours. You'll do it. Come on, you always work better in a pinch. Yeah, but I know impossible when I see it. Dumping all these data files onto the aliens' preferred bandwidth was possible when we had weeks to get the job done. Why this sudden rush? Nobody knows. Out of the blue, we get a transmission from their ship saying they need the transfer complete in two days now. No explanations given. It was... it was really weird. What do you mean? Well, all of our communication with the aliens has been in a written format, you know, text. But this one was vocal. The voice I heard, it sounded... it sounded... sad. Uh, can I have your bunk if you don't come back? <laughs> Are you listening to that? He's already planning on profiting from your death. What kind of friend is that? You should probably give me your bunk. I'm just glad it's you and not me. Thanks for the encouragement, Klein. Be sure to bring me back a souvenir from the asteroids. One of those predecessor relics would be nice. Yeah, like they're gonna let me walk off with a priceless archaeological remnant of pre human ancestors. How about a mug with your name on it? Ouch, Dixie, it looks like your boy's getting beat up down there. Oh, he can handle this. He's just waiting for his opponent to get overconfident. He better not wait too long if he wants to be conscious enough to appreciate it. Man, I don't know what I think about the facelift. The last thing this station needs is decorative ferns. What's wrong, Redstrom? Are you afraid to get in touch with your feminine side? I don't know. The war's barely over, our guns are still warm, and we turn our biggest military set into a tourist spot? Don't sit right with me. Man, I can't believe it. The colony war is finally wrapped up, and then this happens. Yep, I guess when it rains, it pours. Rain? This is a full-on hurricane, man. The ink isn't even dry on the peace accord, and then these freaks show up. Hey, hey, that's alternate life forms, man. Don't call them freaks. They might be, uh, listening. This year's model of the Rockwell Young XJ9, with ceramic piston release shaft and sub-mounted grenade launcher. If your disregard for safety and procedure is as deeply rooted as I suspect, you might enjoy wielding one in each hand. My money's on you losing a finger in the next five minutes. So, you're interested in the big boy guns, huh? This is the Talmadge 50 odd 8 a nasty little tank killer that loads up the three molly pack self-propelled rockets. These rockets can be fired along a straight vector, or alternately, guided along a side pathway. The panel on the wall right there is the TCT room gravistat. In most areas on Lorium, we use it to easily lift and maneuver heavy objects and equipment. Here, however, we found all kinds of interesting uses for it. So, sounds like Ethan Wyatt got his brother on to pilot the shuttle they're sending out to meet the aliens. Well, I hope the flying skills are genetic. I'm crashing into their welcoming committee, things will go south real quick. Standard military issue Cloud C-41. A 90-caliber concussion pistol with armor-piercing rounds. Full of technology represented. Is so vastly beyond the scope of our most cutting-edge technology that we better count ourselves lucky that these are so are you kidding me? It's beautiful. And you, okay, it's huge. Well into our second week of Star Watching, and these extraterrestrial visitors have finally extended the invitation to the movie founded at Dooley Concert for Harley, and in their words, to share reverence for analysis on the possible interpretation of this, we're going to go live to. Seems to be based entirely upon engineering these surface properties, tensions, and fluid dynamics, but a liquid very similar to simple ocean water. Now, this 
I could transfer to Lurium Control today, like I needed that stress in my life. Well, at least you get a bump in your salary now, right? Bump is right. I don't know. I think the excitement of space is wearing off for me. You should have been there, man. Nah, I don't like that spicy Tarvesh food. Let me guess. Heartburn? Even worse, things get, uh, you know, messy. Ew. Maybe it's better that you weren't there. I really need you guys to keep the civilian activity to a minimum in the hangars. Got it. You realize this will be different, right? Everybody wants to have a front row seat when our shuttle makes first contact. I'm not even leaving from any of our civic bays. The top brass is having a shuttle exit from a military hangar. Nobody's gonna see it anyway. So why are we worried about keeping these hangars clean? Well, have a sky hard, I guess. I remember Lurian was a military station until recently. My superiors are still uncomfortable about cities running around and important things are happening. They looked out to the too. Don't worry about it. Lurium is fully equipped with an escape pod bay designed to hold twice as many people as we currently have in Lurium. Yeah, yeah, but if that dome ever cracks, I don't think anybody's gonna have time to run to the pods. We'll be too busy getting sucked into space. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. What if the dome cracks, Angie? Didn't you guys listen in the pre-launch sessions? You really think they would be stupid enough to install a glass dome over their precious new Civic Center? Hey, those sessions were boring. I'm gonna go ahead and agree with that. How did you two ever get approved for assignment up here? Unbelievable. Ugh. The domes are actually constructed of a new synth carbon ceramic. It's the stuff they're putting in the latest body armor. Oh, yeah, that mutant diamond stuff. I heard it's why we won the war. But I am glad to see that you're feeling better. Yeah, it'll be good to have you around the office tomorrow. My new assistant has already ruined three reports. I'll get on that first thing in the morning. Hey, no rush. You get better first. It's not the end of the world. Unbelievably tall. So, me and Perry over there are dug in tight over on Colony Rock 17. Bill Perry? Nah, not that idiot. Chris Perry. So me and Chris are dug in on CR-17, and all of a sudden our suit comms start ticking off like we're standing on a load of hot mines. So what'd you do, Sarge? Well, we scrambled like you've never seen. Barely made it out of radius before this big vacuum boom cuts our trench in half. You boys ever hear a V-boom? It's real quiet, and you don't feel nothing. But everything in front of you gets ripped to bits. Then your suit comms start screaming and wailing like it's the end of the world. It's like watching death in slow motion. So what happened to Perry? <laughs> comes walking out of the dust cloud with this stupid look on his face. He's got his gun in one hand and a scratch in the head in the other. Turns out we were sitting on top of a whole colony demo squad right when they hit the wrong button. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? Ah! How did this... Sir, I need you to remain calm. A gurney is on the way here, but you need to stay still. But I thought the war was over! Why did the colonies hit us? Didn't we? Ah! Hold still, sir. You need to hold still or I can't help you. Help will be here soon. I summoned help over... over five minutes ago. So it should have... it should be here soon. Just remain calm. Ah! Oh, my leg! I think it's my leg! Yes, I have your injuries isolated, sir. You need to hold still so that I can... All right, Olsen. I want you to approach Markham with a double overhand feint and then move into a 3-7 combo. Nice. Okay, Markham, let's see you counter that with two fives and a low six. Too slow, remedial. Try it again. That's better. Now, let's open it up and get creative. First one down is buying the drinks tonight. 